once you can even witness yourself when you are in the most deep sleep means you are awake you are 24 7 awake many people i know they are walking zombies they are eyes awake they're doing everything that it needs to be done but there is no awareness what they're doing awakening you should be awake even in sleep as well as in a dream as well as you are walking awake does not mean that you can see things you can hear things you can smell that is a matter awakening that you are awake too vast to the matter you only awake when your senses are engaged are you really fully awake even when you are not consciously contributing or engaging to the senses can you still be aware can you still be mindful can you still be available to your senses and have the similar interaction with your senses through your subtle body means you are awakening to the one more step people moment they become awake they think they become awake remember the spiritual ego can be a lot more greater than your the regular ego and much more crafty and subtle almost invisible like a you put a stone in the water you can see it or you put the sugar inside the water sometimes you can't actually see it it dissolves but it's still there and not pure enough so when you become awake or awaken what is like being awakened don't go on claiming that you are awake there is no need to claim it. You just you are awakened for yourself, not for other people. But when you start claiming that you are awake and imposing on other people, means you are looking other people's validation that you are awake. Problem. If you especially on a spiritual path, especially if you are on a spiritual path. Always be mindful. Being awake does not mean you walk around head up in the cloud 24 7 talking spirituality or doing a one or two class, especially with the yoga teachers. And sitting quietly thinking, I don't need to do anything. I am a spiritual person. Absolutely. You are breathing. You are doing something 24-7. So make sure you have a conscious contribution. Whatever you can do in your creation, in your capacity, using your senses to create a healing. But don't claim that you are creating healing. Allow that flow through your body. You even lose your sense of who you are, basically. You start creating a separate identity. Your voice becomes extra special. Almost you want to hypnotize people to make them believe irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. Your sweetness should be in the action. Your sweetness should be that you are not harming somebody. But not sweetness just only to attract make people feel like that you are such a melodious voice that everybody feels so drawn to watch to you that's nothing to do with the spirituality but especially is a, a voice training if you become a spiritual you must have a different voice that everybody feel uh, mesmerized by or such a tender a soft voice that is absolutely nothing to do with the spirituality or being awake. You are awake. 
as you are. There is nothing to change. If you have a different personality when you are in the role of the spiritual, or you have different personality when you are not being in a spiritual problem. So being awake is being simple as possible. But that does not sell. So you have to create a, some sort of drama. Sorry, I'm a bit uh, raw as it comes. You know, I, I can't laugh. The problem is, I would, the, the, I should uh, be a bit more careful what I say. But being as it is, you know, the simplicity is very necessary. And the uh, humbleness is necessary. But nowadays, humbleness is seen as a, uh, some sort of weakness. Humility is necessary. Kindness is necessary. Compassion is necessary. Love is necessary. And when people talk about forgiveness, only person you need to forgive is you, nobody else. You can't forgive anybody. The day you forgive yourself, you have forgiven everybody else. So remain open to transform, to grow. They, these are the qualities of being awake. You are receptive. When you are receptive, you are transformative. When you are not receptive, you can't transform. So on that note, I believe that is enough for today. We'll see you. Thank you, Ayo.